Ingredients 1 half cup softened butter, 1 cup sugar, 2 eggs at room temperature, 2 cups flour, 5 tablespoons of cocoa powder, 1 teaspoon baking powder, 1 teaspoon baking soda, half a teaspoon salt, 1 cup of milk at room temperature, and 1 teaspoon of vanilla. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Add butter into a mixing bowl and cream it. Add your sugar while creaming your butter. Mix until fully combined. Now add your eggs and vanilla. Remember the eggs need to be at room temperature so they will not separate. Now add your milk. Again, make sure it's at room temperature. If it's cold, it will separate the batter. Now add your flour and cocoa powder into your mixing bowl. Add salt, baking soda, and baking powder. Let's speed things up. Use a spoon, piping bag, or sandwich bag to make your little circle cakes. If you're using a piping bag or a sandwich bag, make sure it's sealed nice and tight. Cut the tip or corner off of the bag to release the batter. Make a circular motion to form the cake disc. Now they're ready to go into the oven. Bake for 10 to 15 minutes. Let them cool before removing them from the tray. You can make this go by faster by placing the pan into the freezer to cool them faster. About five minutes usually does it. Be careful as you remove the cakes so they won't break apart. The cake dish should look like these. Now for the filling. You'll need butter, milk, vanilla, and powdered sugar. Everything should be at room temperature. Nothing should be cold. If anything is cold, the frosting will separate. This is what your frosting should look like. Now it's time to fill the whoopie pies. Take one cake disc and put frosting on it. Once you have enough frosting, take a second cake disc and sandwich them together. And that is a whoopie pie. Time to speed things up again. And there you will. <laughs> 